it was warm, but not not too hot. And uh, returners having to adjust to the sun, receivers having to play the sun, DBs as well. So we got the work we needed, and and uh, you know just wanted high intensity, less volume, based upon kind of how we've set up our practices with our sports science crew and um, their recommendations. Does humidity phase you though coming from Texas? It does not. No, I grew up in a small town that had two rivers and lakes everywhere, so it was super humid. How far was your hometown from the town where you coached? Um, you've got a lot of hometown guys in your locker room, and I'm curious about the pros and cons of that. So. Were you? Did it feel like you were coaching at home when you were in college? It was because that's where I went to school. You know, I think so. Um, you definitely, you can't get away from the game ever because every friend, and family wants to know what's going on and they know the insides and outs of it. And so, personally, it just hits you constantly. Um, so for me, here is is a lot different um, in that regard. But I can see somebody like Kirk or Suggs with family and friends that have grown up here, have been Cardinals fans, are just completely intertwined with it. Um, it can be pretty intense at times. Imagine there's pros and cons to it. Have you had conversations with guys about that sort of thing? Are there pros you just leave No, I, I think, you know, they got a lot better deal. Um, you know, they're young and rich and playing pro ball, so <laughs> they don't have to deal with alumni or academics or any of those things. So I, I think they're doing all right. You were young when you missed out on the rich part at New England. What's that? Yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't make a lot of money. A lot of work, though. <laughs> a lot of work up there.